This is High School Sports Extra, sponsored by Nicolay National Bank, with your host, Brian Roday. Hello, everyone, and welcome into High School Sports Extra, presented by Nicolay National Bank. Tonight, we'll tab our team of the week, count down the local five top five plays, feature an exceptional student athlete, plus the prep spotlight shines on the greater Green Bay area as Rich Palswick from the Press Times joins me right here in studio. But we tip things off with our game of the week, a battle of the top two basketball teams in the Northeastern Conference Friday night. Ninth ranked Freedom entered the night on a 10 game winning streak and looking to avenge its lone loss of the season to fourth ranked undefeated Wrightstown. Early first half, Irish senior Zach Mashlin off the screen and wide open for the top of the key three to put the home team up by one. Later on, it's Mashlin across the court to Austin Balk, who buries it from downtown. Freedom up 11 to 9. But Wrightstown goes on a run. First, it's Andrew Lamers going strong down the lane for the hoop and the harm. Then Grant Nemechek handing it off to Tyler Cruz, who sinks the triple for three of his 15 first half points. Tigers lead 31-22 at the break. Members of the 1990 Freedom State Champions honored at halftime, and maybe that would bring some luck to the Irish. Check out this sequence in the second. Austin Peterson can't get it to go. Then Mashlin's three is off the front iron, but it bounces right to Landon Van Kelster, who tickles the twine from behind the three-point line. Irish trail by six. Later on, it's Mashlin off the dribble, down the boulevard for the bucket and the foul. The deficit cut to five. Then the tide turns even more. Van Kelster comes away with the steal, jumps over a player, misses the layup, but who else? Mashlin is there to put it back to tie the game at 38. Here comes Wrightstown at the halfway point of the second, though. Sam Hayes steals the inbounds pass, throws it ahead to Ben Peer, who finishes on the other side. Tigers take a three-point lead. Then it's that pair making another play. Hayes in transition, leaving it for the lefty Peer, who spots up from the perimeter, and Wrightstown leads 49-43. No quit in freedom. Here's Mashlin for three more of his game high 24. Irish up by one. Then it's Ben Kelster connecting for three to give freedom the 53 50 edge with four minutes to play. Back and forth we go. Nemechek all the way around, out and back in, and we're back to even. So here we go. Final seconds of regulation. Tied at 55. Mashlin's three is off the mark. Falk is there for the point blank putback but it's off the back iron and we're headed to overtime. With 90 seconds left in the extra period, it's Cruz cruising around the defender, going off the glass and in. Tigers take a 58-57 lead. After Freedom went ahead on free throws, it's Jeremy Van Zeeland snagging the lead right back for the visitors. Final seconds of overtime now, game tied at 60. Remember that play they just ran a little while earlier? It's Cruz again turning the corner with a tough finish inside. Three seconds left, but Wrightstown blocks the shot at the buzzer and Wrightstown stays unbeaten in thrilling fashion. Final score 62 to 60. This is my first win in this gym, I'll be honest, and it, it's huge, it feels great. It's nice to know that we can do it. It's a big confidence booster. This is a big rivalry here. Every time we play, no matter where it is, if it's at our place, third place, the gym's always packed, always a great atmosphere, it's a lot of fun. It's really big for us, uh, you know, with seating coming up and all that, and we got Apton Xavier with us and a, and a bunch of teams from our league, um, now we got a two-game lead uh, with eight to go. I hope our kids can celebrate it and enjoy it. Um, it was a lot of fun, but there's a long ways to go yet. 